Have you ever wondered how content creators, filmmakers, and sound mixers record wireless audio from their microphones without it even being connected to anything? Like the audio sounds absolutely beautiful and how the heck does it work? Or is the microphone actually connected to something? You see, when I was first getting into audio production such as boom operating and sound mixing, I was very curious how wireless audio worked. I mean, it's a microphone that's recording audio distances away from somebody else and it's not even connected to anything, but it actually is and we'll touch base on that later. I was just always curious how sound mixers recorded wireless audio and then later synchronized it in post-production. Like, how does that work? Plus, I've worked with expert sound mixers that have routed so many different wireless microphones and IFB systems onto one mixer, and it's just like, how the heck do you do that and how does it work? No, I mean, I had a general idea of how audio production worked because I went to film school, I got to learn cinematography, editing, and some audio production. I used the film school's audio equipment that was provided for me, but it wasn't really that good. But I mean, hey, I got to experience recording audio for a film production, short film. And over time, I got to learn, oh, this is how it operates. This is how this works. That's pretty cool. But there was still another level to wireless audio that I just didn't quite understand. And if you're that same type of person, then I'm really glad you clicked on this video because I'm about to verbally and visually show you how I record wireless audio using my Zoom F6 audio mixer and in the simplest way possible, in my perspective. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about my audio production background and my services, then you can check out a link to my website located down in the video description below. The wireless audio that I use as a freelance sound mixer is the Deity Connect Kit. Some people say Deity, some people say Deity. I call it Deity because that's what it is. But I mean Deity, especially Andrew from Deity, correct me if I'm wrong if I'm saying Deity wrong. But I know it's Deity, and if it's not, it's Deity. The DD Connect Kit comes with one wireless receiver, two wireless transmitters, and that receiver can connect up to two different wireless transmitters. I mean, I know you'll find some knockoff Chinese brands on Amazon that'll give you the same kind of thing, but DD has a very special style and credibility to the way they make their wireless microphones, or should I say their wireless microphone systems. For one, this can be a good thing and this can be a bad thing, but the DD Connect system operates on 2.4G gigahertz. So in other words, the DD Connect system operates off of wireless audio through 2.4 G gigahertz, such as the cellular wireless systems we use like Wi-Fi routers and cell phones. And the benefit to this is the DD receiver automatically pairs to your transmitter via 2.4 G wireless. So you don't have to scan for a certain frequency when you're out on the field recording for a film or a music video or whatever your purpose is. Instead of scanning for frequencies, the DD receiver recognizes the transmitter because it's the DD brand, it's 2.4 G wireless, and the receiver connects with the transmitter. It's pretty dang cool. So now let's talk about my process. I use a simple XLR to TRRS cable to connect from my Zoom F6 to my wireless receiver. The male end of the XLR cable goes in the Zoom F6 and I usually put it into audio channel two and then the TRRS end goes into the receiver. And if my cable is going into audio channel two, I usually plug in the TRS end into the A output of the receiver. And that's just the way I organize my audio channels. Because I mean, if I'm working with a boom mic and I'm working with multiple lab microphones, it just keeps me in check of which microphones are what. So so what's the purpose of this process and what are we doing? We are simply setting up a way for the audio receiver and the mixer to communicate with each other. I mean, the wireless receiver will already receive audio from the transmitter because they're paired wirelessly. But we need to make sure that the audio signal is getting recorded by the audio recorder because that is the whole intention behind everything. And the only way to do that, from my knowledge, is to connect the XLR to TRS cable from the mixer to the receiver so that cable is acting like an instant message from the receiver to the mixer and saying, hey, this is the audio signal I'm picking up and this is what I want you to record. And then the mixer's gonna be like, okay, done deal. Now here's what you do during the recording process. Make sure that your receivers and transmitters are actually powered on before pre even pressing record. And I mean, I say this because if they're not powered on, your mixer's not gonna receive a connection from them and then you're not gonna be able to record any audio at all. Whichever audio input you connected your XLR cable to, that's the audio channel you will be mixing from on your mixer. So I kind of already stated this, but if I were to record multiple audio channels simultaneously, the boom microphone being audio channel one, then the male XLR end goes into audio channel one. Meanwhile, to stay organized, the wireless receiver's XLR end will go into audio channel two. So when I'm mixing the two audio sources, I will know that the boom mic is audio channel one and the wireless microphone is audio channel two. So if you're recording audio and you turn the mix knob on audio channel two and you're like, why isn't the boom audio raised 
raising the gain? Well, that's because you're raising the gain of the wireless audio, not the boom audio. Now, there are a bunch of other settings I can go over with the Zoom F6 to help you understand how to set up your recording process and whatnot, but I already made a video on that, and if you're curious to learn more about the Zoom F6 recording settings, then I suggest checking the card up above my head, or you can find a link down below in the video description. But I encourage you to finish up this video so at least you have an understanding of how wireless audio works. So setting up your poly recording. This is pretty much the process of recording multiple audio tracks simultaneously into one file. I always record in a poly format when recording multiple audio channels at once. Other mixers probably have different styles when using the Zoom F6, but I personally just always feel more comfortable when recording in a poly recording format. That is when recording multiple audio channels at the same time. Now with wireless audio technology, there has to be some troubleshooting that gets involved. Like maybe there's a loose connection or maybe the wireless microphone falls off of a talent or just something goes wrong and the audio is it's doomed. And you may come across a time where your wireless audio cuts out or you hear some sort of humming slash ring noise in the very back of the signal. Or perhaps your audio is cutting out because there's a loose connection between the TRRS end and your microphone jack. Which when I say microphone jack, I'm referring to the transmitter. And this can happen from time to time considering the transmitter is hooked onto your talent or the person speaking and they're gonna be walking around probably sitting down, constant physicality with their body movement and perhaps the connection with the microphone and the transmitter is going to adjust and slightly loose over time. So it's very important to check the connection between the cable and the transmitter every so often because you never know when that loose connection is going to pop up. And trust me, you don't want to be that person who's recording the wireless audio and as soon as someone walks over to someone else and the shot is going on, everybody's recording, we're ready for action, suddenly hear a and just to give you a demonstration of a loose connection, I'm currently using my wireless audio right now. I'm going to just loosen it up just a little bit. You may hear a loose connection. So this, this is not really good, but I just wanted to share with you a demonstration so you could actually hear what it sounded like. So again, for all the products I've talked about in this video, I'll have links down below in the video description for you to check them out. As well as other audio recording equipment, I highly suggest you use for content creation. So tell me, did you learn anything from this video? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more audio production and video production videos coming very soon. Now, if you're interested in learning how to record external audio from your mixer and later synchronize it in post-production in a simple simplified way, then I suggest you click or tap the video right next to me. It will simplify and walk you through how I record external audio using the Zoom F6 and how to set up your audio recording. Thanks for choosing to watch this video, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another one very soon.